Yeah, your boy Zo here. And tonight, I have the extreme pleasure, guys, to welcome you back on our channel. It's been a long time. So let me start by wishing you all a happy new year, health and peace of mind. For all my dear viewers. And um, I want to apologize, by the way, because lately I didn't make a lot of videos. And keep in mind that I'm not a YouTuber. This is not my main <laughs> occupation but i love to share stuff with you guys so i need motivations via messages or whatever guys okay i'm gonna try to serve you way more videos this year and we're gonna start by something really special so you already know guys that i never review stuff that i cannot back i cannot testify that i love it use it and i will use in the pro situation it's very important for me i'm not a youtuber that i try to make videos about every new release and all that so somebody on the gear slots forum told me hey so have you tried this plugin i say yep the first version was buggy as hell so no not the v2 he said okay try the version 2 this is what we see right now and man what a surprise okay so I'm not like on the hype stuff and all that. You can write Blackbird, whatever, Motown or Sunset or whatever. I don't care about the names, even if it says a lot. But I care about the quality of the plugins, aka the sound, stability, interface, usage, uh, features, sets, and all that. So I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna expand too much on the controls because there are videos about that and you all know what an EVQ is. So we're gonna start with a plugin tool very fast. I'm gonna serve you a Q&A with the kit plugins guys because I don't didn't know those guys. So I asked a few questions. And uh, then we're gonna play with the baby and make a conclusion, okay? So very simple here, you have the EQs that you can engage or not, a phase shift here, which is must basically for an IQ okay analog on off here and you have three levels you have a fader here with a lot of resolution so it's great to have a uh, this quality of uh, gain staging here this part is where the money at uh, you can engage on that the saturation and then switch from line to mic level and you saw that it's moving here because I got an auto gain here which is excellent and working very well okay uh, no behavior here delta for the gain the father you can change the color <laughs> it's 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 not a gimmick guys because uh, in a session where you're gonna have a lot of colors here usually I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put red for the master for example blue for my sub buses and maybe gray for the tracks and all that and maybe like a green for the vocals and a light gray for instruments, whatever. You do how you feel. Options, really good. This is why um, I put two plugins here. You have some global links. For example, here I'm gonna link the oversampling. So if I switch X4, you're gonna see X4 on this one. X8, you're gonna see X8 on this one. So it's gonna link all the plugins in the session, right? Okay, so let's start the Q&A and then we're going to play with this bad boy.
okay uh, after this uh, beautiful q a we're gonna try this bad boy so i'm gonna use this session i'm gonna make you hear the tracks front. okay it's really muddy but it was an idea i had i was testing a plugin basically this bad boy here my last acquisition during those crazy sales and i tried some different stuff played stuff i said okay nice id so still on the production stage you're gonna hear here some beat reductions and some compression here with a dbx just to control the whole thing during the production stage so the first thing i tried the aq on was the master okay because it's really difficult for the aqs to handle all this, this stuff without being damaging the sound and all that so you're gonna see that guys so first of all listen it's really muddy and i want to hear the tail of the bass okay but i also want to control the lows so i'm gonna start by doing this okay you see how it's clean right now but i want to do this okay i anticipate the fact that it's gonna be it's gonna have a limiter right or compressor or something like that I'll just check the levels for you to see that i'm not tricking you about the EQ here okay with the EQ you already feel that the lows is uh, more controlled right and you see it here this less level we're gonna deal with the muddiness right now less and closely Stop here. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. You see that? You see that when you turn the knob just a little, stuff start to up happen, right? This is what I call analog behavior. I don't know. A lot of you guys never touch analog stuff. It's not a big deal, right? Don't stress about it. But I had the chance to do that. And with the analog stuff, and usually it was some great stuff because I didn't know about the quality of these things, right? Basically, when I was young, I just like played with it. It was on the studio, but the studio guys knew about the quality. So I dealt with the Neve stuff and SSL stuff and Avalon stuff and uh, whatever. As soon as you turn the knob, you hear something. And usually it's better. <laughs> That's the first thing. The second thing is that um, no matter how hard you turn it, it's it's even better and better. That's the that's the craziest thing, right? And this is what I feel about the, the, this plugin. So the first thing that I'm gonna judge like the, the frequency response. I'm not here to do an A B and to analyze and see if this aliasing blah 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 blue. I don't care about that. Okay, I just want to make you hear that as soon as I turn down the muddiness here. I heard what I wanted to hear. Let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna bypass. So you listen to the bass area with the, with the, with the snap of the snare. Okay, the tuk. Okay, the bass and the tsh, you, you hear. in the muddiness listen closely so the bass the snare and the relationship right i'm gonna shut my mouth I 
that's crazy. Just the low end register here. Okay. Now I'm gonna give the snare his duty. That's enough. You feel it? And then I'm gonna boost as usual my nive. I love the nive sound on the highs. Here we go. Look at that. I'm gonna compensate. Size guys. I think we're good. Okay. The first thing I noticed when I first tried it, and I swear guys, I sent an email to the guys, I said, okay guys, do you have something like a compression and stuff like that? Even when I'm when I'm on the line level, saturation off. And they said no. I say really no compression on that. I say, they said no because it's it's so fucking controlling the each bend. It's like crazy, right? I'm gonna lower a little, just a little. Yeah. Okay, ready for the A B. to notice guy ready now man that's crazy I swear it's it's so mastering the um, the bus that you feel like a compression but it's not but don't forget that EQs are level handling in frequency spectrum. Okay, we're out. <laughs> Guys, this is what I call a fucking good EQ. Listen. So listen closely on what it does to the sound and how the face relationship is preserved. I can stop the video here basically yeah guys but no <laughs> okay so this was, this was my first try I tr I swear I tried it like that let me stop it I tried it like that I was damn <laughs> you know that you know that damn yeah I was like that and uh, I really felt the hardware things right like, oh yeah uh, let me try to show you the saturation at the same time here we go. So you engage the saturation here. I'm gonna engage the mic. I'm gonna put myself on auto gain. And here we go. Let me just link it. To my controller here. Here we go. I can move. Continuous here, yeah, I forgot to show you that it, it's like you can move with no steps, right? It's most precise, I'm gonna use it. You know. Let me shut my mouth.
really, really hard. Listen. kind of hard guys I'm on the headphones and I know YouTube is crap but listen to this fucking AB <laughs> it's crazy guys see how it masters the dynamic also use the transits right so it's really great I will not use it as drastically as I do here but basically let me but basically you see how you soften the, the transient so if you have some like electronic stuff that are too I mean too digital right yeah just for this AQ just to clear this thing I tried it on the 808 stuff and it was like oh, damn So I will really encourage you guys to start first with the distortion and then start to EQ. Okay, because now that the transients are really mastered, you can push stuff a little more like that. See that? way too much okay but you can thanks to this now <laughs> yeah that's that's a good EQ guys that's a fucking good EQ for a fucking good price okay so let me start first with a beat I made some EQs here already using my monitors, right? But I'm gonna use a new settings for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna put it pre here. So the kick, the drums are basically the settings I made on the master. Okay, I'm gonna try to boost here. Okay, I love to cut and then boost to a get that um, that body of the kick for the kick okay now we have the the body of the kick and the low knock of the snare this is my problem here low mid that's it Minus 7 dB. I feel the phase shift here, but it's not like crazy. That's excellent, guys. Yeah, the snare, the snare. The snare, and you see that the the transient of the, the kick also. Let me be sure. Like that. Let me be sure to uh, match the gain. Okay, they give me some here. Yeah, that's precise. You see how smooth it is? Okay, I like it like that. Without. Okay, now the bass. Okay, first this. The problem is the bass also, because you have this, okay? The bass, on the bass, <laughs> I wanna keep it, right? But here, the I wanna come down. First, I'm gonna clean the lows. Listen.
I swear, here, and it's still smooth, right? Maybe a two, let me. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Look at that. I'm gonna put myself on the bell. I'm gonna cut here. Let me just do that. Like that. Give me some. 600 it let me okay here okay I ain't gonna boost the height here because um, I already have those on the high register Okay, I'm gonna keep it right now. We're out. We're it. Yeah, maybe it's it's gonna kind of too much here. Try this. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. To bring back some beef. It's controlled beef right now. Okay, because we cut it a lot here. I'm checking the level, guys. And when you see me not moving right now, because of that. Of course, in solo, I prefer it like that, right? It's warmer and all that. But don't forget that I gotta make it work with this. And now you have the... The bass has this part, right? So listen to the bass. I'm gonna bypass the chord stuff. You see how you lose some notes? Now. Okay. So very few works have to be done right now on the on the bass, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, bass I'm gonna just clean here. myself on high cue because I don't want it to cut too much on the really uh, the really the bass notes okay we're out
You see, you see how they stabilize. I, I, not, I cannot say it differently, guys. I'm gonna shut my mouth. No, no stress. But uh, it's crazy that how this EQ can stabilize the sound in his area and just say, "Don't fucking move from there." And this is exactly what I'm doing right now. Usually, I have to put a compressor and stuff like that. But already there with the frequencies, usually. I have to add some stuff, but here, each frequency I'm, I'm uh, impacting is is uh, respecting exactly what I'm saying. Okay, listen now. Now, it's kind of too much, guys. But you know, I'm on a headphones as usual. The pads. Let me just. Hear the whole thing. Where's my fucking bass? Okay. <laughs> Not a lot. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut here. It's kind of tricky sometimes. Same here. It's always the same area here. Yeah, that's that's okay. Hi. Like that. I'm gonna give it some hair. Some more prisons, not hair. Yeah, that's the strings I wanna bring. Okay. for an AB just for the beginners first for the beginners okay don't do like I did basically soloing stuff and EQing okay usually it's better for you to equalize uh, in, co in conjunction you put the beats and you put the bass and you equalize both and all that okay it's better for you to have a good relationship sometime you will be able like I did to uh, exactly know when you listen to the whole things, what each sounds might need and all that. But for me, I made solos for you to listen. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let me make a whole AB now. Are you ready? See the thing is that I, I thought I was really hard on the EQ, but it's never sounding uh, uh, too resonant, too much. You know, it's it's smooth, it's musical, right? And this is what I love because look at that, minus five dB. I had some great cuts like two dB for for a single instrument uh, on the fundamental. Sometimes it's really hard, and no, not with this EQ. I can even push here on the master, the whole thing. I'm going to put it in second here. I can even cut here. Okay, like that. I can even cut a little here. You 
see that? Let me let me just bypass this thing. Just like look at that. Not even one dB here. Okay, just a cut. Listen the impact on the whole bus. Without. Especially on the the chords and the bass. Listen to the bells, how it opens the bells, here, now. Dun, 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 dun. Listen, here, now, that's just crazy, look at it. That's kind of too much here. But you see the move, just few just few like uh, 0 0.12 dBs like that and you feel it okay let me bypass the whole thing Too much, right? Okay, maybe I will skip this one. Oh, hold on, maybe I will skip this one and play with the compressor here. Okay, maybe it's too much on this thing. But guys, yeah, I hate working on the uh, headphones. Okay, it's been like one year using only monitors. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, 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 guys. Okay, so as usual, I'm gonna give you my impression about this thing. The pros and the cons but i really think that you get it okay don't trust me just try it okay as usual so we're gonna make this bad conclusion and i'm gonna put the plugin in here and i'm gonna serve you the conclusions i take my notes because i made some notes okay so for the pros, the first thing uh, is the model chosen for the plugin. Okay, so we have a lot of other Neve stuff and all that, but this model is pretty unique, right? It's not like the regular consoles and all that. It's really something unique. Uh, it's like like the Forte, okay? The the is the, the the Focusrite Forte. It's really something really rare and uh, really like special, okay? And it's a console uh, maintained uh, at Blackbird, right? I know the guys are fucking maniacs <laughs> of the maintenance and all that. So yeah, yeah, it's not like uh, <laughs> your cousin consoles, right? The second thing is that it sounds superb on all the whole areas. I mean, sometimes you have great EQs, but whack saturation. Here the saturation, guys, I really, the saturation alone need, needs a video. I really try <laughs> to, to serve you guys just for that on the 808 stuff and all that. But basically, yeah, the saturation is just excellent. And the EQ, right? So the whole section, you, you don't, you don't, you ain't gonna like, uh, don't use a section or, or another. Auto gain, okay? You have to do some tweaks. But basically, yeah, it works. It works and it's really a, a great, a great addition, right? Uh, and the global control also here, I really appreciate that, especially for the oversampling, okay? So you can put yourself, for example, like I'm doing right now on the production stage at X4, and you're gonna do it for the old plugins. You ain't gonna miss one or something like that. And then when you're gonna start bounce the, the audio, so the CPU is gonna be uh, more smooth. You can uh, uh, increase the oversampling, guys. 
Okay, the CPU hit. Let me show you guys. The CPU hit is cool. Basically, look at that. It's like 8%, 9% here. Keep in mind that I have my uh, recording uh, software. And my specs is the i7 uh, 4970. So it's uh, 4 core 8 threads at 3.2. So yeah, it's it's not like it's not light, it's not heavy. I, s I put the CPU heat on both sides, okay? I put it on the cons and put it on the pros. For the pros, because giving the oversampling X8 here, it's nothing. I know some plugins that as soon as you engage X8 or X16, it's gonna be like crazy. And when I say crazy, I mean like 30%, right? So I don't even use those plugins. Um, but with this one, yeah, giving the quality of the, um, the treatment of the oversampling, it's nothing. Another goodie for me is the GUI. Okay, yeah, it's definitely something I appreciate. It's it's cool on the eyes. Okay, no flashy colors, no uh, strange shadowing and all that. And I really like resize options. Okay, you can resize here. Uh, the color for the faders and all that. I really love that. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna say is the um, look at that. I'm going back here. Hold on. I'm going back here on the station. I open that and look at the latency. You see that? 0 0.2. That's nothing. With X8. So basically, this is not an Azar. Right? This is something I can definitely use here on the production stage. And I will. Because it was it has you see a great impact so I can keep adding new sounds and uh, try to organize them in the frequency range with something like that on the production stage we have no problem giving the latency that's crazy guys and lastly on the pros that's the fucking price that's 69 dollars right now a regular price I think it's 99 and uh, yeah <sighs> guys what I, what I can tell you is that as soon as you have a name like that on your GUI, you see crazy money. <laughs> I'm telling you, crazy prices. And even of the release, right? So 69 for an excellent plugin, an AQ, really rare. An AQ that you, don't, you ain't gonna find anywhere. With this quality, with a disk drive at this price, and I know some plugins that are like, like three times more expensive and less uh, appealing okay the cons guys so you have no dynamic section okay I, I, it's, it's more like futures stuff like that, but they call it a channel strip you we can call it a channel strip because this is the channel strip of the console with the mic and all that the pre but I would love to see like the dynamic section on this to really have a sign strip. Okay, or maybe another plugin. But it, it's not like a count, it's just like a future request like that. Okay, now I'm I'm gonna put the CPU hit. Okay. The CPU hit is not it's not high, okay? And I don't have like a crazy a crazy um, thank you any. Uh I don't have like a crazy uh, computer, right? The thing is that. The CPU heat is kind of high if you want to use it on every channel on a project, right? So it's it's just like a question of management, but beware, okay? It's 8%, it's not like 2 or 3% like uh, an old school plugin, even for a channel strip. So it's not a lot at all, giving the quality and the oversampling, but it's not something like you can put everywhere on your session if you have like uh, 100 tracks. Uh, number three, it's more future requests. Uh, oh, guys, kit plugins, why vertical? Okay, I know that the console are vertical, but we have horizontal screens. It's a question of test. 
I would love to see you guys be the first brand. I swear that I, I wanted to make some plugins and the one thing I will propose people is to choose between horizontal and vertical layout. Period. So yeah, it can be great to have a horizontal layout for this type of AQs. And also on the request number three, we're still on the number three, I would love to see a MS left-right dual mono configuration. I posted it on the forum and um, it might be on the menu, guys. I don't know. But yeah, if it's on the menu, you can put it on the <laughs> pros, definitely. It's more a request, okay. Definitely accounts, it's the demo process, okay. We have to use the cloud and it's a pain in the ass, guys. Basically, even when I'm recording those videos, I'm not in the internet. I have to shut down my internet to be sure that I don't have like a, a peak of latency in the system and all that. So basically, if I had to do this video with the demo version, I will be fucked up. Okay, so the cloud needs an internet, internet connection always to check your plugins and uh, so it will be great uh, kit plugins if you could uh, allow users to demo the plugin with a regular machine or at least key demos so that was it guys i swear i wanted to make a fast video but i always have fun when it comes to when i play with the sound and all that and I, I wanted to show you even like the compressor for the, from the brand and all that, but it might be another video, guys. Be sure to try it, okay? I'm going to show it to you anyway. Look at that. They have a free plugin here, which is a, a distortion unit. Here, try it. It's excellent, guys. And uh, I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> you know me. F fuck that time. Fuck that time, guys. I, I respect you guys. This is why I, I really get, gonna give you the time you deserve. So let me just put back the sound and we're gonna try it. I'm gonna insert a new, a new one. No, here, my friend. Okay, first thing I love, let me just... First thing I love is the GUI, guys. Okay, I'm gonna check the black one. So it's a drive unit, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna do that. Okay. It's free, guys, it's free. It's a warm saturation, right? But what you can do here is what we do with a lot of plugin of saturations. Is that. it let me just use my super controller and slowly just like that without and now I have the sound of a transformer sound of a old school recording so it's very versatile guys I ain't gonna say it's gonna replace all you fucking drive units and all that but it's fucking efficient but this bad boy same thing the price is crazy I think it's 29 No, not a lot of control. You don't have a ratio and all that. Threshold, attack, release, okay? You have a mix knob here, great. Crunch, it's like a all button stuff. So it's gonna be like crazy. And the body here, it's just a low shelf post compression, right? So if you wanna bring back some lows and all that, it's great. But listen to the compression. I'm gonna put myself on the medium here for the tempo. I 
already love the compression. stuff like that it can be uh, something I could do right now listen snare is back we can increase the compression here See how it's easy? Crunch. You see the movement of tsh. I love it. Usually it's fucking crap. <laughs> I swear. I'm gonna do that. And I swear guys, I had this plugin, they gave it, they gave it to me free, I want to uh, thank them for that. I said, okay, do. could you try this plugin? I said, okay, why not? And guys, I, I tell you the truth, at $29, I was like, oh, it can be great. But it's a fucking auto render. So as soon as, as I try it, I ask on the forum, guys, and we have a ratio and all that, but... I'm gonna say to kit plugins, don't need, we don't need a ratio, right? I definitely need um, a sidechain stuff because on this beat, I would love to, uh, to control more the compression uh, level between the kick and the snare. But really, it's because it's on the production stage, so zero level is done. But what I'm surprised if for the crush, I'm on 20 percent right now. Listen. It's, it's still on the tempo, right? Okay, 20 percent. So it bring back the whole ambiance behind. So definitely something, it's simple, so I'm gonna use it definitely on uh, on my template in machine for the drums, for each drum element, this is the type of compression I love. I ain't gonna waste my time with ratios and all that, I'm just gonna control uh, each element, okay? For whole bus, it's gonna be tricky because of the lack of control over the sidechain specifically, and the ratio also. So guys, that was it. Uh, I'm sorry for the for the format of the video, guys, but you know me. This is why you watch me. <laughs> okay, so again, it was a rock and roll representation, as usual, <laughs> from you boys. Oh, of this bad boy, I took the time to show you also this boat, this one, just for you to check it. You know it's there, and be sure to try it. As for the drive, it's free. Why not taking it? Um, yeah, this AQ, the BB-N105 is a 
definitely one of the best EQ you can get right now. And for the price, why not? Okay, so if you already have zillions of EQ, be sure to try it just to see what, what we are talking about. It's, it sounds great and it sounds right. It sounds fucking analog, guys. Okay. If you don't have some EQs, guys, okay. I definitely encourage you to try it because it can make you uh, spend way less money on other plugins once you're gonna grab this one, okay? So, thank you guys again for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. I wanted to make a 20 minutes video and I'm pretty sure we are easy one hour. Be sure to like and sub if you feel like so. And be sure to try it and give, tell me in the comments what you think about that, okay? I'm curious. Maybe I'm honeymooning with this plugin, but usually not. I mean, yeah, this AQ is really responding to my moves like I want an AQ to respond, okay? So this was your boy Zo with the kit plugins, the BBN105. Uh, I wish you all again a happy new year, health and peace of mind and great sound and productions and mixes guys take care of you your boy zo bye bye